and security experts under the auspices of Association of Licensed Private Security Practitioners of Nigeria have appealed to government at all levels, Lagos residents and Nigerians in general, to always call the attention of security agencies whenever they notice any inappropriate behavior from anyone around them. They made this call while speaking with journalists after its annual general meeting preceding the election of new leadership of the association held in Lagos. The call is coming on the heels of purported reports of alleged infiltration of the sector by runaway members of the dreaded Boko Haram sect. They maintained that the trend poses great security threats for citizens, if not nip at the bird. If they do not present the license empowering them to practice, do not engage them. It is a security risk. And to, the, and to those who are practicing without license, I want to warn you, it is no more business as usual. We are all out to arrest you. And once you are arrested, you must be prosecuted because you are causing economic leakage in Nigeria. And that is not allowed. You look here within the country, there's no home. There's nowhere you enter and there's no guard. Meaning that for us to even do anything and remain safe as a country, we should pay heed to those guards. But most times in the country, people look down on them, forgetting that their life, their properties, all that concerns them is generally controlled by these guards. Now, if the government will pay heed to what they are doing and give them that attention, or that cognizance towards, pay cognizance to whatever they are doing. At least it will encourage them to do more and also encourage owners of this private company to give their all to make things go better. We have this association of registered licensed security companies, which is helping the government in the grassroots security of the state. Unfortunately, we are confronted every time with this problem, and that is we have much of this quack on license operating freely. And we're appealing to the government, the agency uh, uh, empowered to do that, to let us go after these people. Because if anything happens, they say security. Who knows if most of these people are even Nigerians that, that can be used to counter our efforts in security of the state. Another issue of concern is the planned deployment of standby force to restore constitutional order in the country by ECOWAS. They call for the use of more dialogue to avoid any form of war because Nigeria is bound to suffer the most. Go into a war. The bulk of the soldiers will be provided by Nigeria. Because some of, them have said they, some of the other countries have said they will provide a battalion. A battalion of soldiers is no more than 800. So how many of them are actually ready to, to provide enough soldiers? And they need a minimum of 22 soldiers to go into that uh, offensive. And you discover that the other, the other countries may not provide up to 3,000, or at the most 4,000. We have some countries that are actually backed out. Ghana has backed out. We discover that more of our Nigerian soldiers are the ones that will bear the brunt. So if people are going to die, it's going to be more of us that are going to die. If, if, so it should be more of, we should, uh, it, should be, it should be more of dialogue. Because you discover that in that country, the Western powers are going to unleash all their equipments. And um, don't forget that that country shares borders with seven northern states. And there's no guarantee that that war will not come into our country. So that's the part I'm worried about. We should continue to dialogue with them so that we can see reason and come out of this mess. War! Nobody goes into war and come out of it. Those of us who have been born well enough, long enough, we know what a war is. We don't want a war within our neighbor, Nigeria Republic, but I think we can resolve it amicably. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.